Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got a metallic steampunk mani. I have started off this manicure with Peel Ease, a peel off face coat, and Zoya. And this one is Aspen with the dog hair on it. Mm -hmm. And then I topped it with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. It's a beautiful polish. And then I'll be using BM609 and BM415 for my stamping plates today. I'll be using a bunch of SE polishes, and this one is a Blue Rhapsody. And then another SE. Good as gold. And this one's kind of purpley silver. I love it. Nothing else metals. And then we have Penny Talk. And the last one is No Place Like Chrome. I just thought these would be fun, so let's get to it. We're going to be using that Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper today, and I'll be using my Fabri Nail Scraper. And I'm just putting little dots all over the stamping image that I'm planning on using. I guess I'm calling this a smushy stamp. I mean, you know, because you just smush all them colors together on the stamp, and it's just such a neat effect. I just really love it. And give it a couple of scrapes and pick up. And here we go. We're going to plop this one on my thumb. And I did miss one side of my thumb, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix that. I didn't show you how bad it was, but like I missed the whole side. So I'm going close to the end of the bottom of the plate, and I'm using all those same colors. And I'm just going to capture part of this image on this next stamp so that I can, you know, fill in that spot that I missed. And I apologize for the camera angle, but you can see there's a big gap there. And I'm just going to line this up and stamp it in like nothing happened. I am cleaning that plate off with acetone in between. And I'm just bouncing back and forth between these two plates today. Doing, got, I, I was really surprised I didn't have more steampunk images on stamping plates, but this was really it. Um, so this manicure was not what I had envisioned, but I was really happy with it in the end. But now I realize I need to go shopping for some steampunk plates. I will be checking that out. And again, we're just doing that same dotty dot dots with the nail polish. And I love these polishes for stamping. They do such a good job. I found that with a lot of polishes, metallics do really well for stamping uh, across the board on many brands. So, um, you know, if you've got some in your collection, give them a try and see what, you know, see what they do for you. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. And I've decided to use this clock image as my accent nail on my ring finger, just to kind of break it up a little bit. And also using this image lets um, more of that base polish show through so you can kind of see it. That and I've been dying to use this little clock image. I just thought it was so cute. Here we go. Figure out how I want to get it on there. There we go. Made a commitment. There it goes. So there you have that one. And we're going to do this pinky nail and then we will be done with the stamping. So yes, Tina needs to go find her some um, steampunk manicure plates. I do believe Moyu London has some, so I'm definitely going to check that out. There we go. And ta-da! I've done my cleanup off camera, and I'm going to be topping it with this smudge-free top coat from Bundle Monster and then top it with my regular top coat. I am so far really impressed with this no smudge top coat. You know, a lot of times we spend all this time working on a manicure only to smear it with our top coat. So I do like having an option like this. We're gonna top this one off with some posh top coat and get it to dry down. And I will be showing you that I also, after this was all dry, ended up topping it with the pure ice frost finish top coat and mattified it so I will have pictures of both glossy and matte for this one and just so you know I ended up wearing it matte because I loved it so much I just thought it was really cool 
And it's funny because I'm a glossy girl, so there we go. All stamped up, top coated. And here is the glossy version. And coming up, we have the matte version. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this manicure. Leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.